Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's 2 Minute Tuesday tutorial I'm going to show you guys five commands that will speed up your drafting and make you a more productive drafter and I'm going to do it in two minutes. So let's get started. Alright, so let's get right into this. I'm going to put two minutes on the clock and we're going to go over five commands that are going to make you a quicker and more productive drafter. So first up, we've got change space, which is going to move uh, objects, whether it's text or line work or anything you need, uh, from paper space, which we're in now, like this text, and it's going to move it into your viewport at the same scale and uh, keep it in the right place. So we're going to type in ch space with the object selected or you can select it afterwards. It's going to ask for the target viewport. We're going to click inside this one and hit enter. And you can see it's now in the viewport with the rest of the line work. That's change space. Uh, it can save you a ton of time. Next up we've got control R to cycle through your viewports. This one's straightforward but if you have a bunch of viewports hit control and then R to rotate through them. This can help when they're overlapping and difficult to select. Next up we have burst, which is like explode, but it's gonna keep attribute values in place. If we explode this block, it wrecks all of the attributes. If we undo that and use the burst command, it keeps them all in the right place and all the values. Next up we're gonna use the join command and this is gonna quickly join lines into a polyline. Uh, you can see here we've got a bunch of individual lines. I'm gonna select them all, type in join and hit enter, and now they've been combined into closed polylines. Last up, file dialog or file DIA. This command is going to turn on or off whether or not dialog boxes are going to appear for you. So if we type in open, you can see the dialog box opens up. If you type in file dial dia and set it to zero and we type in open, you can see it's now going to do it through the command line. Once in a while, I'll get this uh, question on the, on the blog or the YouTube channel about why your dialog boxes won't open. It's because of the file dia command. So change it to one to turn it on and it should solve your problem. That's it. Hopefully I made it in uh, the two minutes or under. Let me know what you guys think and what you'd like to see in the next video. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here. Make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.